Hey everybody, time for a little 177 update. Kind of doing some work on this old girl. Look at this door. That never translates well, but it's just cavernous. All right, so we have to do the wing spar AD. And uh, anyone familiar with the 177s now know some Cessna 210s, I think over in Australia, sat outside, got abused. They're out there for like 25 years and in the weather, and they had some wing failures. So they said, well, we have to inspect every Cessna 210 wing. And they said, well, the 177 is a lot like a 210. Let's do that too. So we had one year to comply. So we flew this plane a lot in the last year because if you fail this wing spar carry through AD, your airplane's kind of a paperweight. Can't really fly it again in the fix. If you could find parts, it's very, very expensive. So we had to comply with that. So as we're doing that, you run into the wells. As long as we've got the whole headliner down, let's let's uh, replace some headliner stuff in plastic. Like, well, we can't do some of the plastic because it looks like garbage. So let's replace all the plastic. I said, well, you know, as long as we have it off, this old installation looks bad. They have this new thing called a hush kit. It'll make the airplane a lot quieter. So we might as well put the, the hush kit in there. So the might as well on the project always creeps up on me. But uh, anyway, let's take a look what we got here. 177, spectacular airplane. Look at the sleekness of that nose. Pretty cool. Um, come back here. So here's the, the carry through spar up here. The thing that's green. That we had inspected. It was eddy current tested. After that, there's some kind of an epoxy primer you put on it, then some corrosion inhibiting compound coating you put on it. You have to not only prove that it didn't have corrosion, but it will never be corroded. So that's what we did. And you look at all this black stuff here. This is the hush kit. Every panel is being covered with this uh, sound deadening material. That was fun for the guy to get it all up back in there. So again, we're down for annual and we ran into the might as well. It's really nice airplane though. I mean, pretty clean. Then we got into some of the plastics. Again, you know, let's order some plastic. This is the time to do it, right? So, and the plastic was, it was 50 years old. The interior had been redone 20 years ago, but I think they left the original plastic. So to show you some of this stuff, it was kind of busted up. See how this is all cracked and coming apart. Oh, that just broke right in my hand. Brittle is another word I'd use to describe this plastic. So we ordered all new stuff, brand new, thick, not brittle plastic. And that's going everywhere. All of it, even the back cargo door here, the headliner we're addressing right now, the seats are holding up pretty good. So I think the seats and the sidewalls, like I said, they did this about 20 years ago. Take another look at the Cardinal, still in pieces, but it's coming along. I'll tell you what, that wing spar AD, that was a big deal. If you fail that, like you said, your plane's kind of junk. <clears throat> and this airplane only has, I think it has 22 or 2300 hours on it since new. The engine's got like 500 hours on it. Nice airplane, 125 knots, four people. The ease of getting out, I've been over that before. But there's no other plane that my 80-year-old mother can just walk up to and, and hop into like she's getting into a car. Look at how wide that door opens. And between, right here, there's nothing in the way. There's no wing strut. There's no gear sitting right there like on a 172. You just walk right in. So really loving the 177. It's great because, you know, my kid is insurable to fly it. It does that. I could get four people. I could travel. Honestly, the RV6, I want to be in that as much as possible. If I don't, if I only have one other person, I want to go 160 knots with all the Garmin accoutrements. That's the way we're going. But this plane is pretty neat too. This might be a plane. Just keep this plane forever. I mean, I'll always be able to get in and out of this airplane. The RV6, a lot of shoulder and back and stuff crawling into that. That's not going to be a uh, plane I'm flying when I'm 90, right? So... We'll see how it goes. This hanger's kind of a mess. This is our new hanger we bought in addition to the other hanger <clears throat> to put the 177 in. It still needs a little bit of work and it's still a little bit cluttered. But anyways, that's what's going on with the 177. Hush kit, headliner, all new plastics. We'll get her back up flying after the annual. That is what's going on.